A ball is kicked upwards from the ground level and reaches a height h after t seconds. Okay. This can be modeled by this equation. h is equal to 16t minus 40 squared. Now this image I googled. So this is a footballer. A well-known footballer. I can't recognize his face. You might be knowing he's a great footballer. Probably. Okay. So what does it say? So this footballer is kicking this ball and the ball uh, the path of the ball can be modeled by this equation, which is h is equal to 16t minus 40 squared. So there are a number of questions. Let us go over the question slowly. What are the possible values of t? Now t is the time in seconds and h is the height. So let us make a table, uh, a column of table. Suppose let us write, let us say t for time in seconds, so t for time in second and h is height. So h is uh, h is equal to 16t minus 40 squared. So let's make up a column of values. So when t is 0, that means t is 0 means when it's when the ball was kicked. So yeah, you put 0 in this, so it will be 0. Okay, so 16 times 0 is 0 minus 4 times 0 squared is 0. So this does make sense. At time 0, when the ball was kicked, where was the ball? The ball was on the ground. After 1 second, say, it will be, I'll put six, uh, 1 in place of t. So this will be 16 times 1 minus 4 times 1 squared. So which is 16. First, this is, you have to simplify this first. So this is 16 minus 4. 16 minus 4, which is 12. So after one second, what does it mean? 16 minus 4 is 12. So after one second, the ball was 12 meters high. Okay. So after, suppose when t is 2, that is after 2 seconds, it will be 16 times 2 minus 4 times 2 squared. So if you make the table, it does make uh, you understand what is happening. So this is, first we'll simplify this and this first. So 16 times 2 is 32 minus, first I have to simplify the power first. So this is 4 times 4 is 16. So after 2 seconds it was 16 meters high. So when it is 3, so this will be 16 times 3 minus 4 times 3 squared. Okay. So 16 times 3 is 48 minus, this is 9 times 4 is 36. It is down now, it is 12 now. So what is happening? The ball is coming down. So it is 12 meters when it is 1 second and 3, and at 3 seconds it is again 12 meters. So it is going up and it has come down now. Okay, so 4, it will be 16 times 4 minus 4 times 4 squared. 4 times 4 squared. So this is 16 times 4 is 64 minus 64 which is 0. So what is this table telling me? So when the ball was kicked it is on the ground and after 4 seconds it's again on the ground. So I, I hope you understand that anything that goes up has to come down. Okay so this is times 4 squared. This is times 4 squared. My pen is not working, so let me write this properly. Times 3 squared here. And this is times 4 squared. So if you draw the, a sketch of that, okay, so what does, let me explain this in a sketch. So this is your y-axis and this is your x-axis. So this is your height, h is height, and on the x-axis I'm taking t. So let me draw a sketch. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4. And it's a, uh, the part of the ball would look somewhat like this. Okay. Okay, hopefully I can do a better job. So this is what the graph is. So let me delete this. So at 0 seconds, so this is height and this is, so this at 0, when time is 0, your height is 0, and this is 4, and after 4 seconds, it's again on the ground. So this is, say, uh, this is 1, 
1 this at this point after one second it is 12 so this is 1 comma 12 I hope you understand at 2 okay so 2 it I think it reaches the maximum okay so at 2 this is 2 comma 16 we'll confirm this on a graph in a graphical way so this is 3 it's again at 12 somewhere here all right so this is 3 comma 12 3 comma 12 and 16 okay 3 comma 12 and 16 so this is the path of the ball okay so let's confirm this on a calculator okay so this is my calculator so let me scroll this to this side properly it's not working okay oops okay it'll do now okay so go to graph and type in uh, 16x minus, oops, this is 16x minus 4x squared. Okay, and we need to change the scale from, I'll change the scale from 0 to 4, step of 1, and I think on y I need from 0 to 20. I'll go from 0 to 20, scale of 1 would do. Okay, can you see this is a graph? So, this all and this is called the maxima okay so press maxima can you see when at two seconds it reaches the maximum height and you can find the roots so zero zero and if you press this key four zero okay so let's answer the question now so what are the possible values of t so t is between this is how you can write t should be between four and zero T can take any value between 0 and 4. Okay. Sketch the graph of H versus T. We have done that. Okay. What's the maximum height the ball reaches? It is 16 meters. Okay. How long does it does it take the ball to return to the ground? So look at the graph and tell me how how, how long does the ball remain on the on on air? So how many after how many seconds it hits the ground so well four seconds so this is four seconds and determine at which time the ball reaches 20 meters okay is the ball ever reaching 20 meters this is the maximum height it reaches after two seconds so we can say it reaches 20 meters never it can never reach 20 meters if it has this equation in this situation it never reaches 20 meters.